Welcome back. Two Republican state senators have their eyes set on the same seat. Lieutenant Governor, Senator Burt Jones, who represents Baldwin, Butts, Putnam, and other central Georgia counties, and Senator Butch, Butch Miller, rather, who represents Hall County. They are the two who will face off in the Republican primary this May. Now, it's already an expensive battle, both raising over $3 million, according to reports filed with the Georgia Government Transparency and Campaign Finance Commission in late January. But with an expensive race comes candidates taking pointed attacks on the other. Ashlyn Webb is live in studio, verifying one claim roaming around the state political scene. Good evening, Frank and Lori. In an email to supporters, State Senator Butch Miller claimed his opponent, State Senator Burt Jones, has ethics complaints filed against him. That email stated there are more than one, so we set out to verify. Our sources include the executive director of the agency that oversees ethics complaints, David Amati, and documents filed with that agency, the, gov the Georgia Government Transparency and Campaign Finance Commission. We filed a records request with the State Ethics Commission to verify. Well, we got back a complaint form from August 26, 2021. It goes back to a tweet from Senator Burt Jones on July 8, 2021, showing Jones, his family, and supporters shooting what looks to be a campaign video. The tweet reads, I want to thank the volunteers who came out yesterday. It was a long day, but y'all were great. Those same scenes were featured in a campaign video tweeted on August 10th. The problem, the complaint alleges that campaign video was filmed before Jones filed paperwork required to accept or spend campaign contributions. So as a general rule, um, you, know, you can't make expenditures or accept, con accept contributions prior to filing a declaration of intent that you intend to do so. Jones filed that paperwork on August 6, 2021, a month after the campaign video was shot. Executive Director of the State Ethics Commission, David Amati, says this is the only complaint against Jones, and they're still investigating it. So we verify, yes, there is one ethics complaint filed against Jones. Amati says there's no complaint filed against Jones' opponent, Butch Miller. If a candidate has an ethics complaint filed uh, prior to an election, that really needs to be resolved before the elections because voters have a right to know if candidates are following the law or if they're breaking the law. So now that a complaint is filed, what's next? There could be a hearing in front of the Ethics Commission as early as this month. If someone is found in violation of this campaign law, Amadi says the maximum fine for the first time is $1,000. Frank, Lori, back to you. 13 WMAZ requested an interview with Burt Jones on the ethics complaint. A campaign spokesperson sent a statement, but did not, it did not address the ethics complaint filed.